After an eventful two years as a member of the Rolling Sixties Crips, Quando Rondo was putting down his blue flag and disavowing his allegiance to the gang, setting the internet on fire. Lots of people have been curious about the reason he wanted to quit the gang lifestyle, and recently, Rondo revealed the truth regarding his move. What is the truth? Watch on to find out. Quando Rondo joined the Rolling Sixties Crip at the height of his career in 2020. The Georgia-born rapper's two-year stay at the Crips has been eventful. On November 6, 2020, one of Rondo's rivals, King Vaughn, was tragically shot in Atlanta, resulting in his death. Initially, Rondo was thought to be the murderer, as both of them had an altercation during which King Vaughn died. Later on, sources revealed that the diary of a lost child rhymer was asleep in the car before the shooting took place outside of the Monaco Hookah Lounge. When he woke up, Vaughn's crew was there, and things suddenly got tense. King Vaughn reportedly approached Rondo and his crew with anger, which led to the brawl. Speaking to Angela Yee in an interview months later, Rondo claimed the altercation with King Vaughn was in self-defense. This seems true, as footage from outside the club appears to show King Vaughn throwing punches at Rondo's crew, so sources claim Rondo's camp was just defending themselves. According to reports, the rapper did not know what was going on and believed his life was in danger. Though police also opened fire while confronting the gunman, cops say King Vaughn was already shot during the initial shootout with Rondo's group. Following the incident, Rondo had trouble booking shows with the claim that everyone is terrified of him due to his connection with King Vaughn's murder. Not only this, but the before fame singer also received several death threats. But during an interview with All Around TV, he said he's not letting the death threats affect him. This isn't the only time the rapper was involved in a shooting in a brawl. He was also in the middle of a deadly shooting with his crew in Blackshear, Georgia, and one of his handlers was wounded. The incident took place after the Georgia rapper's performance at a show in Southeast Georgia. Rondo and his entourage were at the convenience store when the shooting took place. Cops believe the shooter opened fire from across the road or from the highway, but luckily, Rondo, he wasn't hit. However, things came to a head in California in 2022 where the rapper was involved in yet another shooting. According to the police reports, the rapper was the intended target of the shooting that took place in Los Angeles on August 19, 2022. The rapper and his friends were at a local gas station when three men in a white vehicle pulled up alongside his black Cadillac Escalade and opened fire. 23-year-old Lil Pab was the victim of the shooting as he was shot multiple times. A few days later, news of the incident spread like wildfire on social media, with initial reports claiming Rondo had been hit in the ambush. A woman identified as his aunt later took to Twitter to assure everyone the rapper was fine. Following the incident, Rondo took to his Instagram story to denounce his ties to the Rolling Sixties neighborhood Crips gang and reveal the chaos had become so much that he just wanted to focus on himself and his family. A widely known rule for gang exits is blood in, blood out. A phrase that refers to being jumped by fellow members. In his post, Rondo made it clear that he doesn't want to get jumped by an unloyal gang member. Another reason for parting with the Crips. It's time for me to spend time by myself and free myself from a lot of people, he wrote on his Instagram story. My main man's gone and a lot more shit. I'm cool on a lot of that shit. If I feel like you not with me, it's no reason for me to be holding on to you. No need to shake your hand or being fake with you. I'm living life how I want to live life. Whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. You're either going to get with it or get lost. He later put out more posts in the story regarding his exit from gang life. I'm my own man. I laid down my flag. I'm not NH. You all ain't gonna ride for for real. In no sense being a part of y'all shit. You all in opposition, he wrote. I don't give a fuck who feel hit. Fuck you, and if you can't feel where I'm coming from on this, you a bitch ad, cause it don't take rocket science to see what the f is going on. Everybody already hate me. He continued, I ain't tripping on the extra hate. I'm about focus on my family and the ones who really going to drop a tear if I die. In another post, he reflected on the death of Lil Pab and how it has affected him negatively. There too much going on. Yo many fingers point to many people behind my back. I got too much weight on my shoulders. I'm standing on all 10. I love Pab like a fiend, but I'm not going to the funeral cause I know where me and cuz stand. Fuck how anybody else feel. Keep that shit to yourself. Nobody know what the hell I'm going through. I watched my homie die. I want to see a lot of y'all wake up and keep a level head after that. Rondo's post brought a range of reactions from his peers. Some are commentaries on the proper way he is supposed to exit a game, like Nipsey Hussle's friend and fellow Crip, 
Jay Stone, who said, you can't drop your flag and say you not NH no more. You need to go to the hood and get your put off. Don't cry now. We lose friends all the time. Not everybody gon' ride. You were a goofy internet banger anyway. Jacksonville, Florida rapper Julio Fulio took on his Instagram story and wrote, Dog, homeboy died in California. He trying to squash beef and throw his flag in. It's too late for that now, nephew, with a crying emoji. While others are just memes. One Twitter user with the handle, Chico himself wrote, Damn, Quando Rondo, Mike would've never dropped his flag. SMH. Another user named Eric Trillman tweeted, Quando Rondo trying to get an honorable discharge from the Crips? Rondo had a response shortly after for anyone who had something to say regarding his controversial decision. For Rondo, people speaking up on his decision don't have the money to even stand next to him, let alone criticize him. Before you go talking about another nigga, sit down and think like I don't even have 200 bands, cause you need way more than that to stand with me. Y'all think 20k is up, I care less about what somebody thinks get in my way and I will knock down so simple no cap. Meanwhile, WAC 100 was more sympathetic to the after fame singer. WAC thinks he knows why Rondo made that sudden move of quitting the game and believes there are federal ramifications to the move. That killing fucked with his mind. A lot of niggas been talking that, but they ain't really been in that. That's different between when a nigga drop in front of you and you know you could have gone with him. When the police came, that went to a civilian. All the way civilian. Know what he doing is, fuck it. I'm gonna drop my flag, WAC said. However, he also claims that dropping a flag is not that easy. According to WAC, Rondo quitting the Crips is going to be a problem for any gang member or members who vouch for him. He also predicts that Rondo's desperate position has made him an easy target for the feds, comparing him to Takashi 6 9 They gonna intercept some wiretaps on the niggas threatening what they gonna do something to him. They gonna let him hear it, and it's gonna get jiggy, WAC predicted. However, a few days after the incident, Rondo seems to have had a change of heart about not attending Lil Pab's funeral and quitting gang life as the I Remember singer was reportedly seen decked out in blue and wearing what appeared to be a Crip gang paraphernalia to Lil Pab's funeral. Both Rondo and his homie Lil Timmy, the alleged killer of the rival rapper King Von who has been released on a $100,000 bond, attended their fallen homie's funeral. Putting the gang lifestyle behind is easy, but getting out of the gang itself is pretty hard. Rondo wanting to get out of the gang isn't the big matter, but the question is, will the Crips let him go? Only time will tell.